welcome to the next chapter. So this chapter, we're going to talk about network programmability and also the automation. Let's look at the uh, contents of this uh, chapter. So first, we're going to talk about the introduction to why do we need network programmability, the problem, difficulties, and also the automation part. Why do we need automation? All right, then all, we will talk about the uh, common programming languages uh, which is available in the industry, uh, what are the different types, and then we're going to focus on Python. Then in number three, we will talk about the case uh, use case study using Python. All right, so let's first focus on the background. Why is this uh, topic uh, important? So first, let's look at what is the difficulties that's faced by network engineer in the current uh, industry. So conventional network engineers usually have to manually uh, log in to every single network devices and to perform the operation. And for, for example, such as uh, they need to execute a certain commands, they need to perform a certain configuration, they need to change the password. So just imagine if you're handling just like three network devices, which is fine, no problem, because network engineer can easily just tell net to three different uh, network equipment, but imagine if you are handling 100 devices, this is going to be very, very time consuming and also very efficiency because you need to keep track one by one, maybe you need to do an Excel spreadsheet to keep track which one have you been updated and stuff like that. And also very difficult to audit. So if you look at this uh, network scenario, we constantly need to perform device upgrade. Same thing, if you have 100 devices to be upgraded, this is also a big issue. You want to do a configuration audit. For example, a company says that we need to execute a new policy. All the devices today cannot be enabled with Telnet, and you need to enable all of them with SSH, which is also mean as Telnet. And after that, configuration changes. So again, as I mentioned, sometimes we need to change the password for all the devices. This is actually the difficulties. All right, so what is network automation? So let's look at the definition. Network automation, this is tools that are used to implement automated network deployment, operation, and also operation and maintenance. And this is actually, the objective very simple, is to reduce the dependency on the human. So that is to solve the conventional problem faced by ONM network engineering. So it, uh, there are many open source uh, tools available currently. Uh, ex example, Ansible, SaltStack, Puppet, Chef. These are all very popular in the industry currently. Uh, and they are not only meant for network automation, uh, it, they are also meant to be used for, let's say, software deployment for operating system to automate the process, to do provisioning of uh, virtualization and stuff like that. So th these are some examples. Ansible, Chef, uh, okay. Python is more like uh, programming languages that can actually include a lot of a module to do the automation. So later we're gonna show you some example Python, using Python. Okay, so now let's look at the programming-based uh, network automation. So here you can see this example uh, using Python. So this is a very typical uh, configuration uh, steps. So usually when we want to configure a device, we will type sysname and then followed by the device name, then followed by a VLAN that we want to uh, perform a configuration for VLAN and maybe want to do description. So instead of typing this over and over again for a hundred of switches, so we can actually automate the whole process and then for every single device, we can actually automate such a way that uh, based on the IP address, we use the uh, system name followed by the name of the IP. Okay. So this is uh, what the network automation can be processed. Uh, we can actually write the Python code to push the configuration to the file. Uh, we can also uh, upload the script using Telnet or SSH.